morning everybody. Welcome to Country Outdoor Survival. I'm going to talk about edible plants because I got a few requests on that. I'll go over this one in a minute. This one is an elderberry flower. The extracts from the elderberry flower help with swollen sinuses, colds, flus, swine flu, and bronchitis, diabetes, constipation. The undershade of this one looks like that. Leaves. When these berries get big enough, they're going to look maroon, if not almost black. You make elderberry syrup. Syrup helps with flu, common cold, sinus infection. Natural diuretic, lowers your blood pressure, laxative, helps with healthy skin, helps prevent cancer, and improves health. To make the syrup, you would need one package of dried elderberries, or about one cup of fresh a cup of honey about two cups of water you're gonna go ahead and boil that thicken it and you'll be set on that as you notice they sell that in pharmacy stores like Walgreens CVS all that but why spend the money if you go out and make your own? The elderberries, when ripe, are edible. They're loaded with vitamin C. And the next one I'm going to talk about is sumac. The sumac isn't quite ready. I don't see any that is ready, but that's what the berries of the sumac look like. They're going to be a lot taller when they're ready, and they're going to be red. That is the staghorn sumac. Dried sumac berries taste great as a spice with lamb, chicken, fish. You use it as salad topping. This is the only plant out there when turned into a tea when the berries are red. That will help you with vision. It tastes a lot like pink lemonade. In a video that I posted a couple days ago, you can filtrate your own water, boil the properties out of the red berries when you're in the wild or lost, whatever the case may be, and you'll have something sweet to drink. I don't know if you can see it right in here. This is stalk to the shrub. The shoots 
roots, one peeled, can be eaten raw, cooked in to lemonade like I mentioned. Could be used to help with diseases, painful, difficult administration, an eye wash for sore eyes, milky laxative from this plant can be used as a salve for sores. Cuts and so on. Just an up close picture of Staghorn Sumac. And I found some old berries, so I'll show you what those look like. They usually are a little bit thicker, but I don't want to crack it. These ones are from last year. This is a wild grape leaf. Its juices can be used for its edibility, not only for the grapes, for making wine, jellies, juices, and things along that line. But these leaves right here can be used as kind of like a cabbage roll with the spinach hamburger in it. You can use it that way. You can use the leaves for canning pickles and helping your pickles stay crispy. Like with cucumbers, zucchini, things like that. You just pick leaves, wash them, put them in the bottom of your mason jar and you're good to go and finish your processing. The under leaf of this plant, and I'll show you how big the leaves do get. As you can tell, right here, I call them feelers. They reach out and they grab things and they climb up it. A little cocoon of some kind right there. And another leaf that's pretty good size. But I found a bigger one right here. Uh, this plant has quite a few uses. The grapes can be used and eaten raw as is. You want to try to wait for your first fall, but it's a little hard to beat the birds and other small critters that enjoy them as well. Alright, the tree behind me is black walnut. I'll show you a closer view of that here in a minute. Black walnut has a outer husk that is green when it falls from the tree. When you go ahead and get them and start prepping them, make sure you wear gloves. The stain from the black walnut will stay on your hands for weeks. I've tried kerosene, gasoline, rubbing alcohol, nail polish remover. I've tried it all to get the stains off my hands. So make sure you wear gloves. When you go ahead and you start dehusking them, I found it a lot easier to throw them husk and all into the fire. It makes the husk a little bit softer to get off. When you crack open the walnut and get the nut out, you do want to blanch them. If you do not, it is a mild sedative. It will give you the runs. But all you gotta do to blanch those is to go ahead and put them in water and let them soak. 
there are a couple different methods on doing this. So like I always say, do your own research on what plants what. And I will go up ahead and show you a bigger tree of it. Of what the walnut tree in the bark looks like. Right about there is the leaves to the black walnut tree. And I'm going to try to get closer. I didn't wear boots today. There's a close up at the leaf. Sorry about my finger in there. And what the bark looks like on this tree. This is wild fennel. Can be used to treat heartburn, gas, asthma, coughs. Leaves can be eaten raw or cooked. Stalks can be eaten fresh or raw. However, however the older plants stalks are a lot tougher. I'll go ahead and show you what the flower is because I found some of the flower. The flower that's open. If I can reach it. That's what the flower looks like. I personally have not tried wild fennel, but I definitely will have to try it. This is a milkweed plant. The only part of the plant, the whole plant is poisonous, but The flowers you can eat, you gotta make sure they're thoroughly cooked. I do three boiling water baths, 10 minutes a piece, with changes of water. When this plant is really young, maybe, oh, there's a plant, I'll show it to you in a minute. Pods are edible, which just don't have the pods on it just yet. And the top few leaves are edible. You want to cook those thoroughly, like I said. If not, it is poisonous. The reason why they call it milkweed. You see the milk, milky sap coming out of it. I'm waiting for the pods to develop so I can go ahead and cook those up. This is a young enough plant where you can take the top leaves right in here. Take them off there and eat them that way. I personally I personally like milkweed. Sorry, I was trying to readjust my camera, guys. I like milkweed. It almost has a spinach-like taste to it. You definitely want the younger leaves though. The older leaves are a lot tougher.
Hmm. Let's talk about white daisy. Daisies and lawns are in the woods are edible flowers. Flower buds and the young leaves will add to a salad or sandwich. The leaves are rather strong in flavor but can be eaten. Some of the leaves right there. The wild daisy can be made into a medical tea to help coughs, bronchitis, disorders, liver, kidneys, and swelling. House is a blood purifier too. And there's a few more over here. I'll get in here and show you. So you see what the leaves look like. There's one of the buds right there on your leaf. And there's a mock strawberry right there. I was just looking at that. I was gonna eat it till I realized what it was. This plant here is curly dock. When the leaves are young, you can snap them off or cut young flower stalks. I'm near the base with a knife. Rusty colored seed heads. You put them into a cloth bag or a paper bag and bring them home. Raw dock leaves are very sour. So when you cook them in boiling water bath, Three times. You can eat them and they taste, they have a faint taste of a lemon taste to them. These ones aren't fully mature. As you can tell, the seed pods are not brown. Base of this plant. All the way up. Notice how the leaves are opposite of each other. Definitely worth getting. Do your own research on each plant that I talk about. Nobody's perfect. Everybody does make mistakes. So do your own research. Check it out. It never hurts any to do that. Just came across the curly dock plant, and that's what the seeds look like when they start changing color. And the stalk changes color as well. So yeah, you guys get the idea. The coloration of the seed pods. It's a wide leaf plantain. You can eat the young leaves. This one right here. You can eat them. Just boil them up. Saute them. And it tastes a little bit like spinach. I mentioned this plant in one of my other videos. About why all the edibles and their uses. And there's a narrow leaf plantain. Seed pod right there. 
and that can be eaten as well. This is the black raspberry bush or wineberry, whatever you prefer. Or it's not ready yet, unfortunately. The leaves can be used as a tea. The berry is going to be a dark, dark purple, almost black color. You can tell this is an older cane because of the coloration on it. Maybe before it ends up dead like this one. Black raspberry bush doesn't have many medical uses, but I enjoy eating the berries myself. Helps prevent bleeding, preventing cancer, and other conditions. This is Mullen. It has a yellow flower. The flowers and the leaves are edible on this. It can also be made into a tea. You want to boil this up like you would broccoli or anything like that. I haven't personally ate this one yet. But I do intend to try it. One good thing is... When you're out in the woods, you gotta go to the bathroom, look for this stuff. Just stay away from the leaves of three and five. You don't want any of that. You don't want that itchy rash down yonder. Is the underside of this leaf. I like the feel of it. Also called lamb's ear because it is so soft the plants that i do list on my videos do go by several different names same with the mushrooms that's just what i prefer to call them and that's what that plant looks like as dandelion dandelion has a lot of uses as well can be used as a blood purifier. Helps with cholesterol, diabetes, helps prevent cancers, and there's also many other medical uses. This plant can be cooked up in three boiling water baths and eaten just like spinach. So each time you go ahead and you boil it, boil it for 10 minutes, change the water, boil it again for another 10, and so on. If not, it is very bitter. You want the younger leaves, which I'm getting ready to show you. Younger leaves, like that. The bigger they are, the tougher they are, the more bitter they're going to be. This is in the dandelion family as well and has the same uses. Alright, this is Shepherd's Perch. As you can tell, it's a little dried up. As you notice, the leaves on the very top are rounded. And can be eaten raw. Well, it tastes pretty good to me. You can go on salads, on sandwiches, anything like that. This is wood sorrel. It's a thirst quencher. You can eat the immature seeds pods, flowers, mild sour flavor, reminds me of lemons, can be used in soups, sauces, and all that.
one of my favorites, but the only problem with it is if you have acid reflux or GERD or anything like that, you're definitely going to feel it. So, if you have any of that, ish, any of those issues, I should say, then I want to eat too much of it. But it will definitely help you in a survival situation or if you're lost or an edible just hiking on the trail which i'm going hiking with my mom this week so that'll be really nice can't wait to hit the trails with her stinging nettle i've talked about before I don't know if you can see little fibrous hairs on it and underneath the leaf. But it will cause skin irritation. So if you decide to eat this, pick it really young. If you want it when it's a little bit older, pick the top leaves and cook it up. It will be it is a numbing agency where if you have a infected area that is sore or anything along that line, it will help relieve some of the pain. These are the top leaves you would want to collect on the older ones. This plant resembles spinach. In my preference, I mean, some people like to know what kind of vegetable or fruit it resembles when it comes to plants but in my personal opinion stinging nettle is going to taste like stinging nettle wood sorrel is going to taste like wood sorrel there is a poisonous look-alike to queen's Anne's lace and i have not found it yet the root on that you do not want to eat or ingest any of the plant. This here is Queen's and Lace. This will have a white flower and a really, really tiny purple flower in the center. The flower heads are edible and raw. You can fry them. The seeds work well in soups, stews, a tea. And if you get the plant early enough, you can eat the root base. These are wild carrots, as they call them as well. That's what they call the root. The root's going to be white. Thank you for watching Country Outdoor Survival. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.